It's a very exciting day here at Hofstra University. All these words, you sit there and you listen to words, you listen to leadership and culture and excitement and, and so forth. And you know, people say, well, the culture is missing with basketball, but the culture isn't missing. The winning culture, the, the successful culture is not missing here at Hofstra University. It says, we don't become you, you become us. I'd like to become part of Hofstra University because it is a university of excellence. And that's what we're going to strive to do. I'll do everything I can to, to get this program back to where it can be, it should be, and it once was. Well, it's an exciting day. It really is. And I'm excited every day just to get here and come here and work with these guys and so forth. So we got to get a lot better. We got to get a lot better. And, and that's the plan. We will. But uh, it's been a good, it's been a good uh, three weeks of practice so far. Yeah. Turning the program around is, is, is not an easy thing to do. And it starts with your players. And, uh, you know, I know I speak for everyone at Hofstra when I say that when we get to that point, hopefully where we're climbing up a ladder and cutting down some nets, we can say, don't, don't forget 2013 to 2014. We didn't have a lot to show for it in the win columns. But don't forget Zeke Upshot and Dion Nevsworth. It is a great job because of the men that Joe Mahalik and his staff recruited to represent this great institution. It is a great job because the academic success that our men's basketball program had because of the leadership of Joe Mahalik. And on the court, we did a lot of winning. The greatest part about the job that our head coach did is who the man he is. How we led with the moral compass, how he was committed to doing it the right way. It's an often used word, expectations, and I think as I say to the kids, they can read. As I say, look, you're gonna, you're gonna have expectations you'll read about. Maybe it's on Twitter, maybe it's from a magazine. Uh, you're, you're gonna have expectations from your girlfriends, your family, the fans, boosters, season ticket holders. Just worry about your own expectations. What do you expect from yourself every day? What do you expect from this team? Let's try to live up to those expectations. And that kind of simplifies it for the guys. And I think it, uh, I think it helps, it helps me because that's what, that's what I would do too. I think it's wonderful that people have high expectations for us. We have high expectations of our own, and those are the ones we worry about. At the helm of Hofstra, Joe Mahalik, his first victory, leading the blue and gold. They defeat the Fairly Dickens tonight's 80 to 58. Back with alma mater of LaSalle, it wasn't easy, but the pride get the win, 84 to 80. Joe Mahalik has won 300. Their winning streak goes to nine games, stay unbeaten at home, and Joe Mahalik wins his 100th game as Hofstra head coach. They go from preseason number one to postseason number one. For the first time in program history, the Hofstra Pride are regular season champions in the CAA. You know, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. If you, if you have good players uh, who, who understand what you're trying to do and they're willing to process the things that you're trying to teach them and, and, get, and, and do it on the court. You know, I think a lot of it's communication. Um, you know, again, trying to be a good listener. Frank Layden, who was one of the greatest coaches at Niagara, and he said something once that, that stuck, will stick with me forever. Um, if you're a good communicator, then you're a good motivator. And if you're a good motivator, then you're a good leader. And I think that's what coaching, in a nutshell, a lot of coaching is, is, is all about that. And final this one under things that probably should not have happened. Hofstra over UCLA, 88-78. It is one of the biggest wins in Hofstra history. DeJore Bowie, 29 points. Come to this place, it's one of those storied places in college basketball. And to beat them on their floor, it's incredible. Credit to you guys. Couldn't be more proud of it. Yes, nobody out works us. Nobody loves a game more than us. And, uh, and we hate to lose, so you know, it might sound overly simplistic, but that defines the culture of the people in our program, which in turn defines our culture. Orsico lost the handle. Colbert takes it back. Behind the back play! Tariq Colbert up, up and away for the hammer dunk! Look out below! But that is that for the first time since 2001! Hofstra is going to the NCAA tournament. It's the it's first time the Pride has ever won the Colonial Championship. And it's time to celebrate in Hempstead, New York. I think their attitude, their character, they're all better people than they are players. And, uh, and that's why you win. You win with good people. Surround yourself with good people if you want to be successful. And that's what Hofstra basketball is all about. 
There's no doubt the Coach of the Year award in the CAA should be named after Coach Mahalik for the job he did. I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't because of you. I love you forever. You know, what would you want your legacy to be? That you did things the right way, that you won a lot of games and you did it the right way, and, uh, you know, your players respected you, liked you, liked playing for you, and, uh, and had a good experience.